Good morning, everybody. I'm David Romero. Good morning, everyone. I'm Christy Gutierrez, and it is November 2nd, 2021, Election Day. In just a, about an hour, voters will hit the polls, making sure their voices are heard. And for two groups, their fight comes down to today. That's right. And will the voters say yes to the controversial fu bond funding a massive stadium here in the Duke City? News 13's Madison Connor starts off our election coverage with the battle for the bond money. Good morning, Madison. Yeah, good morning, David and Crystal. One group's been urging voters to say yes to the People's Stadium, while the other is holding rallies, chanting stop the stadium. Either way, it's been a long, grueling, and expensive fight up to today. Now, at that dollar amount is still being calculated as both groups took it down to the wire, trying to get Albuquerque voters to see their side of the argument. KRQE's political expert Gabe Sanchez says way more was spent trying to get this bond to pass than he and most others expected, which could make it interesting moving forward if it doesn't pass. Because if the PAC that's been pushing passing this loses by a wide margin and they've spent this amount of money, are they really going to be willing to go at this again and invest even more heavily? I doubt it. With all of this investment being funneled in on both sides, Sanchez believes this could give this election a bigger turnout in voters. Now, Sanchez says it comes down to the vote margins. How close was it or were they completely blown out of the water? And that could kind of determine where they go financially moving forward. David, back to you. OK, Madison, now at last estimate, Sanchez believes that nearly half a million dollars were spent in advertising on both sides. 